This is a review of graphing quadratic equations in the intercept form, which is A, x minus P in parentheses, and then x minus Q in parentheses. For our example this time, we're going to have y equals negative 2 thirds, x plus 1, times x minus 3. First thing we're going to do is to label the parentheses, or to label P and Q. Hint, they are always the opposite sign of what is in the problem. So in this case, that's my format. So my P and Q are negative 1 and 3. And they're always the opposite sign because of the negative signs in the problem. The A is not actually used to graph it. It's used in a little bit different way. So we don't have to worry about the A in this case. Next piece we're going to find is the two x-intercepts. The x-intercepts are always in the format of P, 0, and Q, 0. So since we have P and Q, my points are negative 1, 0, and 3, 0. Next, we're going to find our axis of symmetry. You know, this one's similar to the line of graphing in the standard form, but this one is P plus Q divided by 2. It's basically like finding the average of those two points, because the vertex is the x-intercepts are on either side of where the vertex is. It's in the middle of it, so we're basically finding the mean. So I have negative 1 plus 3 divided by 2, which is 2 divided by 2. In this case, it's 1. So my axis of symmetry is x equals 1. Now that I have my axis of symmetry, I can use that to find my vertex. To find my vertex, I'm going to plug that 1 into my problem. So I have negative 2 thirds times 1 plus 1 times 1 minus 3. So you have 2 thirds times 2 times negative 2, which in this case comes out to be 8 thirds. So my vertex is at 1 8 thirds. Since we have our x-centers, we already have a point on either side of the equation. I only need to find one more point. So it doesn't make a difference which side of the axis of symmetry you find it on, so you want to choose the easiest point. In this case, I'm going to choose 0 for my x. So I'm going to do the exact same thing I just did for my vertex. I'm going to plug in 0. So I have the 0 in there for the x on both of them. So we have 0 plus 1 is 1, 0 minus 3 is negative 3. Then I multiply those out, and I end up getting negative 2. So in this case, my other point is 0, negative 2. Now we're going to graph this information. So the first thing I'm going to graph is my vertex. Again, it's at 1 and then 8 thirds. So I'm going to go over 1 and then up 8 thirds. 8 thirds is just about 3, so I'm just going to go put it at just about where 3 is. So it's going to be between 2 and the 3. Next one I'm going to graph is my two x-intercepts. Actually, I'm going to graph my axis of a trip with that right there. My two x-intercepts is negative 1, 0, so that's right there. And the other one is 3, 0, so that's right there. I'm going to graph my second point, and that's at 0, 2. So 0, 2 goes right about there. Then I'm going to mirror that over, just like I did all the rest of them. So one that way, one this way. I'm going to put that point right there. And now that I've graphed all my points, I can make the curve, which gives me my parabola. And that is how you graph a quadratic equation in the intercept form.